Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking to you about how good I think the AUG A1 is. I'm going to start off with talking about the performance of the gun and then I'll talk about whether or not it's really worth it for what you have to go through to earn it. Alright, so the gun itself, starting off with the sight, I'll get the bad stuff out of the way first. It's not the best, okay? You can't customize it and it's definitely not definitely not good, but it's not as bad as, say, the Bearska scope on the default guns, so hey, at least it's better than maybe one of the sights. At least it's unique, you know, it has a precise point where it shows you where it's gonna hit, but yeah, there is a bunch of stuff around it, and that's really annoying, but I think that at least it's a unique sight, and it's some um, cool new to see. The damage on the gun is fine. I'll put on the screen uh, the differences between the stats on the AUG A3's damage and whatnot, and the stats on the AUG A1, so y'all can see how different it is. Um, I think that the AUG A1 has plenty of damage. You can see in PvP that I'm still doing fine. Um, honestly, a lot of the guns in BRM have high damage. This one is right up there with them. It's definitely not, like, lacking in damage to the point where I feel like I can't kill an enemy and I just have to keep hitting them. Like, it's, it's definitely doing fine as far as damage and velocity and all that stuff. It's just that the sight is really not as good. But think about it this way. If they had put the normal sight on it, or the normal sight customization options on it, it would have just been another AUG A3, basically. So, I don't know why they didn't just do a new gun entirely. I honestly think it's a little odd that they just added an AUG A3 without uh, sight customization. But hey, it's something new, so I'm happy to see that. Um, now talking about everything that you have to go through to get to it. So, the quest is fun, but... Don't get me wrong, it is hard, and not anyone who's solo can do it because of the last round. So you definitely need to work for it, and there's a bunch of rounds you have to do. There's a bunch of scavenging you have to do, especially if you're not cheating and looking at your friends for help. If you're trying to find everything on yourself, that is going to take forever. So the difficulty level of getting this gun is, like, way, way up there. So, honestly, for how hard it is to get it, and considering that it's literally the same level as AUG A3 but with no sight customization. I am gonna say that I think considering how hard it is to get it, they should have made it better or just a better gun because uh, for all the work you have to go through to get a basically copy of the AUG A3 with no sight customization, I don't think that's fair. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my overall review on the AUG A1. It's still fun to have a new gun, and uh, it sounds really cool. Its reload animation is good, so it's got a lot of positives, but there is the negatives as well. That's the end of today's video. If y'all haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. We're actually getting really close to 300 here. I think we're about 40 until we get 300, and then we're almost at 100 members in our Discord, so if you want to be involved in an event in the future, be sure to join that. But that's the end of the, uh, today's video. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.